Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video, guys, I am going to fire up the wood gas fire for the first time, I think, in a year and a half. Is that right, John? Yeah. Yeah, yeah about a year and a half, I think. Me and little man's working on it today just to kind of figure out um, if the system's still intact. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is start your fire in the bottom on the first barrel. And then we just kind of let the wood sticks and old pallet wood kind of feed down. And so what happens is it burns and gets hot at the box at the top. And then the shards drop down and burn at the bottom too. So you're getting heat at top and bottom and the air is still funneling through. Now, the cook box, uh, which is actually where the gasification takes place, I've noticed that after a year and a half of neglect laying out here, that apparently we have cut a hole in the pipe, maybe from my weed eating around here or something. But anyway, that, uh, that pipe's held up a long time. That's the only gap, so I'm thinking I just cut that uh, mowing but I'll have to shorten the pipe just a little bit, reclamp that. And then right here on the box, we noticed on the filter box that there is a gap right there. So we'll just take and do some metal work, metal fittings, uh, refabricate that. And then we're gonna put kitty litter in this. And so hopefully that will uh, make a difference as well. And other than that, it looks like the system's okay, but it's letting so much pressure out here and there that it can't force it through. Because that's the thing about it, uh, as the wood chars, the pressure in the box forces it forward and then out. And I'll tell you something, I'm standing next to this right now, and I know people's commented on the how to build a wood gas fire video. People has like hated on me about the fact that um, this box might explode. People, I'm standing right next to it right now. I wouldn't tell you to do something I wouldn't do myself, and that don't make me an idiot for saying that either. Is because if you'll notice, the lid, if this builds up too much pressure, then what you can do if you're worried about that is you just make one of these uh, clamps just a little bit elevated. And what will happen is if it builds up too much pressure, it just pop the lid open. Just don't be an idiot and stand in front of the lid, okay? And if you're really, really worried about it, you can always drill on the side of this and put a pressure release valve. I'm just, I don't want you to ever get hurt, okay? But if you're worried about that or nervous about that, put a pressure release valve and let one of the latches be open so and just in case it builds up too much pressure just pop the lid open and it'll vent off the the excess and it'll just burn it off and be done with it. you can put the lid back down go back to business but what me and the guys usually do is just take put that back down there is uh, just take some gloves open that up load some more pull out the old you can just pull out the old snap back down but I'm going to try to get the generator fired up get the any gummies or nasties in it from sitting a long time and get this fixed up and we're going to try to get this thing going this summer and uh, goof off with it a little bit and have some wood gas fire videos for the channel. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, uh, make sure to check out how to build a wood gas fire video if you've never seen it before. And until we see you again, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.